Hey everyone, it's Since Co here. Welcome back to another video. Right, so today I'm reacting to William Black's new album called Pieces. I think it came out almost a week ago now. Before we start, the reason I haven't reacted to it sooner, I'm ill. So this video is going to be more of a sit back and listen and give some comments, but not me being in my YouTuber presenting style. I've really wanted to listen to this album and I've somehow waited almost a week to listen to it. So like I already said, the album is called Pieces. It has 13 tracks. Some of the songs have come out before, which I've probably heard of. But starting from the top, we have a song called Haven and it's with William Black and Dyer Frampton. I haven't even heard the album yet. And earlier I bought his album t-shirt that he released and it has like a signature along with it as well. So if I don't like the album, I ain't gonna be happy. So the first song on the album is called Haven. It's with William Black and Dyer Frampton. A nice vocal already. I know I say that to every song I react to. One day I'll be like, eh. Oh, I like this so far. Oh, if the whole album's like this, I already love it. Oh. Go up in the background. Ooh. Really nice hook. Oh, bro, I'm so excited to listen to this album. I've waited like six days for this. I'm disappointed. Ooh. Damn. That's really nice. I really like that. Yeah, pretty sick. I really like this first track. It's a good one to start the album on because now I have high expectations of the album, so. Ooh, I like how it cut out then. That was a bit of a surprise. Yeah, I'm a fan of that one. Obviously, like always, I'm going to be rating all the songs out of 10. That one I'm going to give a 9 because that's that's pretty solid. Up um, next, we have Broken with William Black and Fairlane. I'm pretty sure I reacted to this song before. Yeah, I recognize this one. This is a good song. I can't remember what I rated it the first time I listened to it, but I've definitely listened to it a lot since then. This is a good song. I do like this. I wouldn't really say it's got like a catchy vocal. It's a good vocal, but I like this drop though. How the melody from the vocal chops is like very similar to that chorus melody. It's cool. I like it. I've heard this song a lot though, to be fair. It's been in my playlist probably since it's been out. And then the fake it. Yeah, it's cool. It's a good song. I do really like this song. You know what? I'll rate that an 8 out of 10. Only because I feel like I've overplayed it a little bit, which I know is my own fault. But, you know. Moving on to the third track. It's called Don't Look Down. And it's with William Black and Leslie Powell. I'm assuming that most of the people that are going to be featuring on these songs are the vocalists. This one I haven't heard before. I'm liking the acoustic guitar, though. That's a nice switch up. Ooh. I actually really like the vibe of this one. I like this vibe the most, I think, so far. Ooh. Why do I say it all so much? It annoys me. <laughs> yes, I like this. Come on, good drop. Ooh. Yes, I'm a fan of this one. The melody is, like, fairly simple, but... It's nice and full. Yes, this is the kind of stuff I like. I've heard some people say this album is very samey. Like, there's a lot of tracks that are very similar in the way that they sound. But I don't really care about that because I love this style of music. So if it's an album that's full of it, I'm happy. Oh, damn. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, bro, this is such a sick song. This is my favourite so far. That one's going to be the first 10 out of 10 for me. Right, the next track is called Only One I Need, and it's of William Black, Hayleen, and Thomas Lauren. But this is a really good album so far, I'm not going to lie. Oh, I think I may have heard this one before. I recognise it, but at the same time... I don't recognise it. I kind of recognise it. We'll see. Yeah, I think I have heard this. I can't remember what the drop sounds like, though. Oh! 
Yes, this is a good song. I have heard this and I like it. I don't know when this one came out, but I have heard it and it is a good song. Forgot to wear my glasses. There we go. Yeah, I like this bit, how it's like all gone. Yeah, nice. Yeah, this is a good song. This is a good song. I'm going to rate that a 9 out of 10. It's a pretty good song. Even though I have heard it before, I still like it. Track number 5 is Need You Now with William Black and Forster. This sounds nice so far. Ooh. Good vocal. I'm going to change my wording. This is nice. It's quite mellow. Quite chill. I'm really trying to do normal commentary, but... Every time I'm talking, I'm coughing, so I might have to just make less comments. I feel like it'll be an interesting drop. Yeah. Not super big, quite chill. Yeah, that's a nice change up. Not keeping it too samey, but keeping it familiar. I like that. I like how wide the vocals are as well. I feel like it really suits that vocal. Pretty good hook as well. I wouldn't say it was mega catchy, but it's good. I'm going to rate that one a 7 out of 10, just because I do like it, but I prefer more of the bigger stuff, even though it was a nice change of pace. I can't rate everything super high, okay? Otherwise, it'll be a boring video. Track 6 is Remedy with William Black and Annie Shind Shindel. I I'm terrible with pronouncing names. I've definitely heard this song before, but I can't remember how it goes. Yeah, I remember how it goes. I remember this song. Yeah, this is a cool song. It's nice. Wasn't my favorite, but it is good. Yeah, really nice. I think it's those little vocals I'm not a fan of. The vocal chops are good. It's fairly straightforward though, I feel like. Yeah, it's good. I, I sound like I'm dissing it, but I'm not. I'm just saying like, isn't my favorite. Good vocal as well. Isn't my favorite vocal though, to be honest, but good none of the less rate that one a 7 out of 10 as well i don't know what it is it just isn't my favorite song it's good i'll listen to it in the album but yeah it just isn't really my favorite number seven is closer than you with william black and amity i think this one's also come out before but i don't know whether i've heard it or not i don't think i've heard this which is surprising because there's 2.6 million streams. I like those acoustic drums. Yeah, I don't think I've heard this before. I like it, but nothing special so far for me. Obviously, this whole video is just my opinions, but hey, see what the drop's like. You know what? I take that back. I, that's a good drop. I like the vocal drops as well. That's cool. I just wasn't really a fan of that RP build up, but no, this is this is a good drop. It makes up for it. Yeah, just this build up and the piano and everything. I'm like, meh. Obviously, it's got a fake it. I call it a fake it. I don't know whether that's an official term or not. I just made it up one day and now I say it whenever they kind of like fake that second drop. I am a fan of that. I do like that. I'm going to rate that an eight out of ten because I like it, but I'm not a fan of the build-ups. The drops are definitely the best bit of the song. Track number eight is Only Reason with William Black and Rory. I recognize Rory. I'm pretty sure she's sung on like loads of songs that I know. Yeah, I recognize the voice. This is interesting. I don't know how I feel about it so far, but we'll see. Yeah, nice. Oh, shit. Yes. Oh, damn. Okay, this went from I don't know how I feel about it to I really like it. Don't disappoint me with this drop, please. Because I really like this. Be a good drop, I beg. Woo! Yeah, sick. Banger. Love it. Damn, it's quite aggressive. The melody isn't, but everything else is quite aggressive. This is nice. This is my new favorite. Yeah, I really like this song. This is a really good song. Such a nice hook as well. Got goosebumps from it. This is the vocal. 
such a nice vocalist. Yeah, big fan of this song. Big fan of this song. Damn, I really like this song. Really like this song. You know, that's a 10 out of 10 straight away. I'd give it 11 out of 10 if I could. I really, really like that song. This album so far, sick. I really, really like it. You can tell I like something when I say really twice, by the way. Track nine is Shadow with William Black and Skis. I think this came out before. Wrote a song so long ago. Maybe I haven't heard it. I don't recognize it. Maybe I recognize it later on. Nice. Vocalist. Good, but isn't my favorite. Oh. I have heard this. I've definitely heard this. I can't remember what it drops like, though. Yeah, I've definitely heard this. Yeah, I remember this song. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Decent. I think the reason I didn't really recognize it is because I didn't really play it a lot, because it isn't really my favorite song. It's okay. I feel like it lacks something for me. Yeah, it's definitely decent, but... There's, there's better, there's better. I'll rate that one like a 6 out of 10. It's a decent song, it just, I don't know, there's something about it that I'm not really a fan of. Track number 10 is Worth It with William Black, Nurko and Essinger. I'm really excited to listen to this song because I love Nurko. William Black is also great and this is a collab I'm excited for, okay? I don't know whether they're going to switch up styles like William Black did with Elenium, but I do kind of have hopes that it's going to be a melodic bass track. And if it is... I already know it's going to be a banger. Nice vocal. I feel like I've heard the vocalist before. I recognize the name. This is really nice. You can hear the Nurko influence. I say influence, it is Nurko. Yes. Nice hook. That's interesting. Okay, I wasn't expecting acoustic drums on a build up. Let's go. Damn. Oh. Yes, I'm a fan. Damn. Those vocal chops are sick. Yeah, this is literally a William Black and Noco collab. I know it is, but I mean, like, you can hear that it is. And it's sick. And this is a nice change up as well with the drums. Yeah, I'm a fan of this song. I've been a fan of a lot of these songs so, so far, but this one is definitely up there. Let's see what the second drop's like. I'm sure it'll be the same. Maybe with a fake it. Yep. Right, Noko just has that. That's something. That's something in the way he does things. That's just so sick. It's tough because it's like almost my favorite. But I think the other one, which I can't even remember what it was called, I think it was the only reason. I don't know, it's like a tie between those two songs right now. 10 out of 10, obviously. Track 11, we're almost coming to the end of the album now. We've got three songs left, which is quite sad. This is called Real Life with William Black and Annie Schindel. Interesting. I'm assuming that's going to be the drop lead. I don't know the vibe I'm getting so far. However, it's sad. Yes. Okay. Not the catchiest of hooks, but this is nice. What's the drop gonna be like? Hmm. Cool, it is cool. I feel like it sounds like another one on here though. But no, it's cool, it is cool. I feel like it's missing something. And it does sound familiar to another one on here, but I don't know what one. But I, I do feel like I've heard it, even though I haven't, if that makes sense. Maybe it is a little bit of that kind of samey thing with the album, how it's got a lot of similar songs because of the style. I don't know. Either way, I do like it. But yeah, it's, it's not my favourite. If I say that it isn't my favourite, I mean, it's a good song. I'm still going to listen to it. But for me, it just doesn't have that's something special about it that makes me be like wow this is a great song you know what i mean like there's been a few of the songs on this album that have been like this is an amazing song but this one is just kind of like yeah it's a good song but you know it's there's better i'll rate that a 7 out of 10 it's a good song 
but nothing too special. Number 12 is called Deep End and it's just with William Black. This has come out before, but I don't know if I know it or not. So let's hear. I said it was just with William Black, but there is a vocalist on it. They're just not tagged on it. Oh, I don't think I've heard this before. Okay, I like the hook. Let's hear what the drop's like. I kind of recognize it. Yeah, okay. It's good, but yeah, it's more like toned down. Again, nothing that's making me wow. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. It's got a similar style drop to one of the other songs on this album. I can't remember what one it was now. It's more like kind of like chilled style. Maybe a little bit more kind of upbeat than the other one, but yeah, it's not bad. I rate that one a 6 out of 10. I'll listen to it because it's on the album. But other than that, it's it's an okay song. I do still like it. Right, final track of the album, track 13. This is called Eyes Closed and it's with William Black and Run. If this is a good track, okay, this album is pretty solid. Ooh, I kind of feel like it, it might be heavier because of the bass, but then the vocal is telling me different, so we'll see. I like it so far. Yes. Like, yeah, I'm a fan of this so far. Let's see if a drop lives up to it. It's quite a catchy hook. It's okay. It's okay. It's more of a chill drop. And it's difficult because I'm sat here saying that some of the songs sound similar to other ones. But then when it's not that style of music or, you know, more of a toned down version, I'm saying, ah, I don't really like it. But no, it is good. I do like it. The vocal's nice, so that definitely helps me like it more. Yeah, it's cool. I think it's a good song to end the album on. It feels like a thank you for listening kind of song. If that makes sense probably not but no it's cool it's, it's cool we'll rate that one an 8 out of 10 now i have no idea what i rated everything because i can't see it but you can overall i think pieces is a, a pretty solid album i mean i had high expectations and it lived up to it i think overall rating for the album i'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 doesn't quite get a 10 out of 10 for me because there's a few songs i'm a bit like uh you know they're okay but then there is a good portion of songs on there that were like wow this is a really great track and i rarely listen to tracks and go wow this is a great track obviously i like tracks obviously i listen to loads of different tracks but i think the last time i had a wow this is a great track moment was probably on the Elenium Fallen Embers album. And it was on that song called Losing Patience. If you've seen my reaction video to that, I lost my shit. It was such a good song. And that's the kind of wow that I mean. Like, they're, they're great tracks. And that's the kind of wow that I mean. And there's a few tracks on it that I like that. So yeah, I mean, overall, great album. I'm glad that I waited to listen to it and to do a reaction video to it. Sorry that it was more of a chill back one. Like I said, I'm still ill. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to do the song reactions for you. There's also two new albums coming out this weekend. So hopefully I'll be reacting to those as well. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, remember to hit that like button and subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already. Because I upload new music related content every Monday and song reactions every Friday. Along with album reaction videos kind of whenever. But yeah, my name is Inzko and I hope you have a great day.